This is an ICP in the clear room. It has a load lock and an operator station. The rest of the tool is hidden in the service area. And Hi, uh, I would like to tell a little bit about the, the hardware on the metal ICP system here at DTU Township. Um, so if you just follow me now, I can show you uh, some of the main details. Um, here, have we, here we've got the, the top uh, lid. This is heated normally to 50 degrees. Uh, we have uh, the main body of the chamber, which is basically a big piece of ceramic with an with a, um, electrode that goes around it. Uh, connected to the electrode, we have a matching unit, which is located uh, inside this uh, box here. And of course, an RF uh, cable, which is coming in, which is going to the RF generator. Um, the wafer itself is uh, sitting in the bottom part of the chamber. Um, and when the plasma is running, you can actually see the plasma. If you look through the window here, um, you will be able to see some light. Uh, um, connected to the main chamber, we have all kinds of measuring equipment. Uh, some of the things uh, I can quickly say, we have a, a baritron here, which is measuring the pressure inside the chamber. So this one is zero to 100 milliliter. Uh, we also have a pressure control valve here, which is uh, from VAT. Uh, this is uh, controlling the set point by opening and closing. Uh, behind the, the, the main uh, pressure controller, we have a, a turbo from Leibold, uh, which is also heated because of the corrosion ga corrosive gases. Um, and then if we follow behind the turbo, you can see here we have a, a pump line, which is actually roughly 10 meters in length. It's going to the basement, where we have another backing pump located there, and a scrubber, of course, because of the gases. Um, going down further into the bottom of the chamber, you can see that we have, uh, this is the platen matching unit. Um, so there's also some capacitors uh, inside there. And uh, we also have um, a, uh, an RF generator going to the platen. So you can uh, play a little bit with the coil and the platen together. Um, if we go back to the top again, uh, I would just like to show you where the, the gases is coming in. So we have, this is the main gas inlet pipe. So we follow the, the line here. And we go and look inside. So the gas actually comes in on this manifold here. Um, so we have some mass flow controllers for all the different gases. And this is what you control in your program. You set the flow and hopefully it will go to the correct value. Um, and then we have some filters just before the mass flow controllers. And if you look on the right hand side, you can also see where all the gases are coming in. Uh, up, up at the top of the top part of the gas box, so we have the toxic gases. Uh, and on this particular system, we have these CL3, CL2 and HBR. Uh, and you can also see them on the pressure gauges too. Uh, the ventilation for the gas box is being monitored all the time. So we're checking the flow. So if we did get a leak there, it would be exhausted out to the top and uh, we wouldn't get a problem. Um, we also have uh, gas detectors close to the chamber. They're located at the top of the system. I don't know if you can see up there. So now and again, we have to open the chamber to clean it. And uh, this one is monitoring uh, the, the chlorine levels uh, just to make sure everything is safe. Um, we look at uh, this one other thing. Uh, this, uh, this device here is actually uh, controlling the, uh, the endpoint system. So we have an optical emissions uh, spectro spect spectrometer. Uh, this one is from Verity. Uh, there's a separate computer on the front where you can play with that. We also have a, a, what we call a TDS, uh, high voltage power supply. This one is uh, controlling uh, the electrostatic clamping of the wafer. And finally, at the bottom, there's a, a turbo controller, which is uh, just making sure the speed and everything is OK. Um, and that uh, is most things. We, we also, uh, one thing I cannot show you, in the basement, we have the chiller itself. But you can just see the pipes coming in here. Uh, so this is uh, actually what the, is controlling the temperature of the wafer. Um, and it's also a 10 meter line. But the, the temperature is actually measured close to, to the wafer position. So. You shouldn't worry too much about the length of the line. Uh, and then finally, we have the, the E-Rack here. Uh, you can see the, uh, the two RF generator power supplies. 
Um, inside we have a PLC uh, and we also have the ability to control the, uh, all of the hardware from the back side of the tool. Um, I think uh, that uh, concludes uh, the roundup of the hardware for the Metal SB. Good luck.